Dave was accustomed to Jason sitting beside the creek. Jason always sat in the same place crying. Dave understood loneliness like that too. Everyone he knew was gone. He was the last frog anywhere as far as he could tell. So he had no one to talk to either. They kept each other company on the bank of the creek and he was glad when one day Jason picked him up and put him in his pocket. It was a little scary at first, but then he realized that they would be together more this way. It's a bit crowded in Jason's pocket with the slingshot, the acorns, the pebbles and leaves, but that's okay. There are worms in there sometimes too, and the occasional cricket. Dave made short work of those, and Jason didn't mind. He liked catching crickets and didn't really know what to do once he caught them. So he was glad that Dave liked them so much too. They came back to the creek every day for Dave to swim and hunt flies while Jason took out his homemade slingshot to stand guard. They both knew the neighborhood cat had been eyeing Dave as a tasty snack. Jason was, would harass it with tiny pebbles. He didn't hurt the cat, just encouraged it to look for a different snack. Dave's favorite adventure was when Jason took him to the playground near the creek one afternoon. They splashed up out of the water onto the grass with Dave happily riding in Jason's pocket as usual. No one noticed Dave until he croaked something at Jason and one of the little girls spotted him. Dave had never heard a sound like the one she made. Was it some new kind of song? He tried to answer and other girls started making the same sound. They were screaming and then they ran away. Oh dear, he thought he was helping. But wait, why was Jason laughing? Other little boys were coming over now and they all wanted to see Dave. He sat proudly on Jason's hand as they both took it all in style. Now they both have lots of friends and Dave has lots of protectors. Escape from Jason? Not likely. The once sad little Jason is his escape and his friend.